Number three, calculate the molecular or the formula mass of each of the following, and then we have letter D. So we have CH3, CO2H, and this is acetic acid, aka vinegar, basically. So we have to find out what is the molecular mass of acetic acid, CH3CO2H. And the first thing we got to do in order to find any molecular mass or any formula mass is we have to basically know how many total elements of each different type are in my compound. Now, let me first rewrite this a little bit bigger, just so that I can write more clearly for you guys. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is whenever I see that there are the same elements that pop up at different point in time, so for example, there's a carbon here and a carbon here, I like to group them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly rewrite this just to group all of my elements that are the same together. So like we just said, we have a carbon here and a carbon here. And guys, right, C is carbon. So how many total carbons do I have? Yeah, I have two, right? So I'm just going to put a little two down here. Let's group the next element that I see here. I have H's, right? And H stands for hydrogen. I have H's over here and I have H's over here. Well, how many hydrogens are on this one, right? They told me that it's H3. So I know that I have three hydrogens from here. And now how many hydrogens are here? And there is no number over here. So that signifies that there is one hydrogen. So three plus one, I have a total of four hydrogens. So I could just say H4. And now there's only one place for the oxygen, right? O2. So I don't have to group those together. So I'll say O2. And now this makes it easier for me to find my molecular mass because all the elements and the total amounts are all together. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to list them. So I have carbon, just like I said, I had hydrogen and I have oxygen. Now, in order to find a molecular mass, you have to find out how many total of each element you have. But we did that hard work already, right? We said that there was two carbons, right? The two here. There was four hydrogens, four total hydrogens. And then there was two oxygens. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to multiply those numbers by the molecular masses found on the periodic table. But... For each element on the periodic table, and this is what I see on my periodic table, yours might be a little bit different, but not, not too bad. Um, we have to decide which number is the mass number, right? Usually there's going to be like a big or a bigger decimal number, and then there's going to be whole numbers. The mass numbers are the decimal ones. So these are your mass numbers. So we'll say mass number. And the whole numbers, the 1, 6, and the 8, those are your atomic numbers. Those are your number of protons in each element. Now, since they're looking for a molecular mass or a formula mass, the unit uh, that I'm going to use for my mass number is going to be in AMU. AMU stands for atomic mass unit. It's just the smallest unit that we could work with on the atomic scale, atomic mass unit. So I'm just going to group them together. So for carbon, the mass of one carbon is 12.01. So I'm just going to multiply how many I have by 12.01 AMU. Hydrogen is 1.008 AMU. Each hydrogen weighs 1.008. And then each oxygen weighs 16. AMU. So let's find out these numbers. 2 times 12.01 is 24.02. So that's how many total AMU is in uh, my compound of carbon. And then let's see here. 4, point, uh, four times 1.008. I get 4.032 AMU for the total amount of hydrogen. And then 2 times 16 is 32. I'll just keep the decimal there. 
And now if we want to find out the total mass of acetic acid, what do you think we're going to have to do with these numbers? Yeah, we got to total them up. We got to add them up. And it's as easy as that. So 24.02 plus 4.032 plus 32. And I get 60.052. Now, for sig fig purposes, if you want to keep it with the sig fig, it would just be 60.05 um, because the lowest decimal place is to the hundredths, right? So this one has two sig figs after the decimal. This has two sig figs after the decimal. And the other one has three. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay. And that's it. That's the total molecular mass or formula mass of acetic acid. 60.052 AMU. And that is it. Guys, what'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Subscribe to the channel if you want, you know, to be the first ones to know when we drop new videos. Um, like the video if it helped you out. Just lets me know that I'm doing my job right, and I hope I'm helping you guys out. Um, let's, let's keep working hard, okay? Chem is fun. It's not hard. And I'm here every step of the way for you guys, okay? So I'll see you in the next video and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.